hello and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to see how we can detect mouse click on screen that's the, at runtime during your game uh, so uh, it's simply when you click on your game scene if it hits a game object it's going to um, print out the name that's the simple logic which we are going to be using so that sums up the video entirely anyway now let's go ahead and create three 3d objects so we'll have a cube, a sphere, and also a capsule. So I'll reset each and every position. And then I'm going to set them accordingly. So let's click the cube and drag it to the side so we can see that the sphere is already there. And then the capsule to the opposite side. So this way we can click on each and every one of them. Now let's create a C-sharp script. Let's call this, um, let's say, detect click. Let's go ahead and open that up in Visual Studio. So inside of Visual Studio, what we start with is we go ahead and delete this start. So we're not going to be needing that. Uh, we're going to be using mainly the update. So inside our update, um, what we start with is first of all we define our raycast. Raycast hit. So this would be it, and let's call this hit. Um, next we define our array so next would be ray let's go like this way and then this would be called to our camera dot main dot screen point to ray This ray would be our input dot mouse position. So there it is. Now we go ahead and use an if statement so we can check to see if our input dot get mouse button our left click so it will be zero we open these um, squarely brackets and then we check to see if physics dot raycast um, if the ray has been casted so we want a ray a line to come out and then we want to output our heat um, and we can also give it a length so maybe um, something like 50 or 100 yes, or maybe even a thousand depending on how long you want the ray to go this however should be for um, maybe an advanced game which you are working on so probably use that at that moment now let's um, go inside this and then, and then after which we will um, check to see if um, if this hit dot transform dot name if this is equal to cube which is our first game object then we want to debug dot log this hit dot transform dot name so let's copy this um, this if statement and duplicate this 
two more times and change the name here from Q to Sphere and this one from Cube to Capsule yeah, I think this is the spelling of Capsule so with this done we can save and head back into Unity Once this is downloading, we can go ahead and right click on our hierarchy, create an empty game object. Let's call this mouse ray. Now we can drag reset this so it's um, at the middle and then drag this mouse or this detect click onto the mouse ray and then let's play our game now. So let's clear this console and this is the game so when I click on my cube prints out cube here and I click on my sphere it locks sphere and finally the capsule debugs.logs capsule so this is a simple way which you can detect mouse click um, yeah, so this is it uh, so if you enjoyed this video as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in my next video